Hello, and I am going to do a reading that utilizes angel cards as well as cartomancy. And that's why I have these two decks right here. So this is what we're going to use here. Okay, and I'm going to begin with Capricorn. So, right now what we see here is for the love-related card, the card that has come up is the reunion card for you. So, you'll be able to channel the power of a reunion in order to experience rewards within the Department of Love and career-wise. And there is the sweetheart card that's coming up. So this person will be able to help you um, as far as within your career, um, whether it be a tip or something of that nature coming up. Okay, and then spiritually... The card that's coming up is a conversation card. So spiritually talking to someone else is going to help you out tremendously when it comes to understanding something that is of spiritual value right now. And monetarily, the constellation card is coming up. Okay, and in order to get some clarity on that, I'm going to add in the cardomancy. Okay, so there will be something significant coming up that has to do with a three. Um, and this is going to apply spiritually as well as romantically. And there's a significant seven having to do with money and career right now. So you want to keep that in mind as you go about your day. And I'm going to move along into... Virgo. And Virgo, there is something coming up having to do with a Lord or someone who has a bit of rank. Um, and that's going to be um, romantically. Something's going to come up with that. And then there's a surprise for you within the area of career, Virgo. Um, monetarily, there is money that is linked to something that brings you joy. And when it comes to spirituality... Staying constant, going to the same church or speaking with the same counselor or pastor, something along those lines is going to help you grow in that area. And then there is a female and something also having to do with the number six that is coming up that you want to keep an eye out for. So it's something that's going to be positive going on. And that's how 
that significant for you right now. Okay, and I'm going to move right along to Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, um, there's some type of hope that is connected with your romantic life right now that will do you a lot of good. And as far as career, the money card is directly connected to your career choice right now or something you're doing job related. Um, spiritually, just taking out some time for yourself. The room card is what's coming up. And then uh, monetarily, um, there's a lot of frustration and despair um, that you can overcome with something significant that transpires. And we're going to look into what connections are going to come up to let you know that there's energy that you can utilize within those areas. Okay. And there is a female energy that's coming up um, within the area of career and money. That's going to be extremely helpful. And just for clarity, you know, there is a lot of positive energy as far as romantically and spiritually that are pretty much linked together at this point. And then just moving on to Aries. Aries, there's something significant about the number four. And romantically, there's some type of thought process that's going on. So someone who you're involved in is thinking heavily about something that he or she wants to ask you. And career-wise, there's a meeting of the minds. Or there is something going on to where someone wants to have something to do with you other than just business. So somebody wants to link business and pleasure. Which a lot of people say is not such a good move. Um, <clears throat> there is love that's also getting mixed up in money due to probably what's going on um, in uh, the other area of career. And then spiritually... There's the service card. So there's something you can do religiously that is of service to other people that is going to have a lot of positive effect connected to it. And also the number seven is coming up in regards to some positivity that's going on in that area. Aries. Let's see what's in store for Aries. Now, Air Aries. Romantically, the melancholy card is coming up. So you haven't been getting to thrilled over love for whatever reason late you know of late and for career there is the merchant card so someone wants to do some exchanging with you in some way when it comes to career um, and then monetarily I'm um, a gift 
this scene coming in for you. Um, and then there's the lover card that's coming in spiritually. So someone may be tied in with you romantically and also want to introduce you to something um, that's spiritually or religiously um, interlocking. And just to see what numbers of significance are coming up within these areas. For romance and career, there's a male energy that's coming up. Um, in fact, more than one. So someone within um, that area, those areas, is going to be very helpful to you. And this is a male figure. And then spiritually and monetarily, um, there's something significant about the number six that's coming in for you. So, moving right along. I'm going to go into the astrological sign of cancer. Okay. okay. And career related, there's something coming up having to do with child or children, a child. Something, it could mean youngness, something new career-wise, or actually having something to do with minors. And then romantically, there's a scholar. Someone could be studying you, trying to find out about you, sending someone to check in on you, see how you're doing, how you do things, trying to learn a lot about you. Spiritually... A mother figure is factoring in, perhaps trying to send some advice or give some advice to you that could be helpful. And then um, something that is not actually all truth is coming in monetarily. So beware, you know, kind of beware of certain investments right now because they might not have a full ring of potential. Whatever it is, someone may be saying is happening maybe a little bit different than what's going to end up happening as far as in that area. Okay. And as far as numbers, um, four is coming up. So there's something significant about the number four within the area of romance and career and then there's something significant about two that's coming in in relation to spirituality and money so Pisces So with Pisces, for your career, a journey is something that's coming up. So if you make a journey that is going to allow you to channel extra power, that is going to help you in the reward department. And there's a female energy that's directly connected to positive happenings in your career. And romantically, the priest card is coming up. So your love interest definitely may have some type of religious tie or something pulling him or her in that area. And monetarily, when it comes to finances, 
the wife card is coming up. So it could be a partner, it could be an actual wife figure. Um, however, this is showing that there is power within that area for someone to be able to positively affect your money situation. Now, um, the Widower card is coming up, so there's some type of spiritual transformation, possibly even an ending of some sense. And that is going to be connected to a young male figure. So that's what's coming up there. So. Sagittarius. So, for love, there's a soldier card. So, you're a soldier of love, like Sade would say. Something means your strength is coming out in the department of love and romance. Career-wise, a young woman is factoring in. Um, so, you could be doing something for a younger individual who's also female. Monetarily, um, there's a message um, coming in that's going to shed light on that issue. And then as far as energy, there's a lot of pleasure-seeking, fun energy around you that's going to draw others to you spiritually. And let's find out... of significance are coming up okay numbers of significance coming up okay so something having to do with the number 10 is coming up career and romance related and then there is the number eight that's coming in when it comes to spiritual and monetary blessings so keep an eye out there as far as that goes. So Scorpio. Now Scorpio. What's going on? Well, with your career, um, you're being placed in a position where you can serve and you can utilize that and reap rewards by doing so. And in love, a partner comes up, the spouse or wife card comes up there and it is linked to the number two. Monetarily, there could have been some sickness or or something going on with someone um, that uh, has affected finances. Um, and the energy related to spiritual energy. Um, with that, there is a melancholy card. So it's like easy does it. And for some clarity, five is the number that's going to come up as far as positively to let you know, hey, something positive is going on. And five is going to rear its head there. Okay. We 
Libra. Come on, Libra. I shall soon see. Libra. A faux card is coming up having to do with romance. So if someone wants to cause problems within the romantic department when it comes to you and what you're doing romantically. So watch out for that. And career related, there's also journey that can help you to channel power and reap, re reap rewards when it comes to your career. Monetarily, um, there is additional money coming up. So it's times two within that area. Spiritually, um, there's the fortune card that's coming up. So that offers a lot of positivity when it comes to insight within that department. So a lot of growth can be expected in that area for you. And the numbers three and six are coming up. Three in relation to romance and career, that number is going to be significant. And six when it comes to spirituality and money focuses. So watch for those numbers because they are going to show where there is power, you know, that is coming through you and being in positivity being attracted um, to those areas and that's going to be a telltale sign there coming in okay and Gemini 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 for career matters um you may feel a little bit held back. Um, the confinement card is coming up. And then there's um, a little bit of frustration that's coming through as far as card-wise um, when the romance section of comes up here. And there is a three. Um, so when you, when you notice this three, you know, hey, things are looking up. That's a sign. This is the way to go in that area. Uh, monetarily, someone wants what you have. Someone has an eye on what you've been doing, Gemini. And then the energy that's related to spirituality is connected to someone who has crossed over. So that's where you're going to have the, the most insight when it comes to growing spiritually. Just dealing with matters of that nature. And it is tied to a young male. So that's what's coming up. As far as in, in that area. Okay. And Aquarius. Aquarius, romantically, the faithfulness card is coming up. So I wouldn't say you had anything to worry about romantically because whoever you, you've been wanting to deal with, that person wants to remain loyal to you and you likewise. Um, there is some sorrow coming up within the career, some type of disappointment. Maybe things aren't moving as fast as you'd like them to, or maybe things are moving too fast. And then also you want to look at how much money you're bringing in at present. So despite a little bit of turmoil in that department, um, 
let's look at monetarily okay because that's going to be counteracted with the gift that's coming in so that that kind of counteracts that and then spiritually something having to do with a situation of someone far away or a letter some something is coming in some type of information there's a meeting of the minds going on when it comes to something spiritual. For the cardamancy portion of the reading. A four is coming up. This four it is linked to some type of power or rewarding situation within romance and career. And a 10 is coming up um, as far as a number of significance spiritually or having to do with monetary, monetary significance there. Leo. Leo. Yeah, when it comes to romance, there has been some misfortune. There has been something that's it has been relatively disappointing. You know, maybe things haven't really progressed with someone or some type of situation that um, was very big for you romantically. So there's been something slowing down romance for you. And then with your career, um, the home front is coming up so it could be that you're able to flourish more if you work from home right now and that's what that card could be um, letting you know that you can channel power um, from home within the area of career and you can reap hella rewards and this is all going to be linked with nine because that's the number that's coming up and monetarily, you have a great mind, you have great ideas, and that's going to be where you can channel power to get something you want accomplished, accomplished, and to make more dividends, essentially. Spiritually, the card that's coming up. It's a falseness card. So someone may be approaching you trying to say, oh, yeah, we connect spiritually. When in all actuality, maybe that person is trying to have an easy in to try to get next to you with maybe not the best of intentions. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for that. Um, and there is a five that's connected um, the number of significance there is five so you want to keep that in mind when it comes to money and anything that you are thinking about along those lines when it comes to investment and so on and so forth thank you for joining me for these readings and hopefully you've been blessed